Okay, today it's a subculture time for um, the plants that are uh, big enough and the, the jar is filling up so we need to uh, remove from the old jars and separate them big plants we can uh, put it to our nursery procedure or um, put it back in another another in new bottle um, for the small ones small ones uh, they are going into a new bottle in a in the food that's um, made for them to multiply but the big ones are normally going out uh, of the bottle ready to get in the nursery procedure now um, you can see there uh, the roots has been cut now that's what we do um, before putting it into a new plant uh, we don't need roots at this stage um, we want the plant to multiply now what you're seeing there that bottle um, that is for um, the black thing you're seeing that's actually uh, carbon carbon powder now we use this in in uh, in our plant food for on the stage of of making the plant grow bigger. So we separate the plant uh, and let them grow. They'll this will promote root growth and also the shoot. They will not multiply as much as this uh, this solution here. We heat up the the jar a bit and the lid. At the opening of the jar, that's that's where uh, the bacteria could be, because. Even though the jar is closed, it has a lid. This, uh, you know, it's a precaution. We have to be extra sure. It's even though with uh, all the burnings, sometimes they still are got contaminated. Now, one thing we we one other reason we need to move them to an, to a newer food is. Uh, about 20 to 30 days uh, they will fill up the, the jar and also the food the food will like kind of run out they'll have they'll have no food like very little food and then all the old leaves gonna die off and it's uh, not good inside it has a higher chance of getting contaminated so we have to get them into a new, fresher food for them to grow in. Now that paper you're seeing over there, uh, it's actually normal, ordinary paper that has been sterilized in the autoclave. All the equipments have been sterilized, uh, except that lighter over there, of course. Uh, the cloth are sterilized. And you see there, that little clump over there has, it has fallen off the paper. That piece we're not gonna use. Uh, we just like rule it out. It might get contaminated because, of course, this uh, this laminar flow is not autoclave. We only sprayed it with alcohol and also uh, use uh, UV light, but. They're not autoclaves. They're not um, sterilized with 
pressure and heat. So we're not going to use that plan. Those clump going to go uh, outside to the nursery home to get acclimatized later. Oh. Now we have, we normally use two size of bottles, the eight ounce and four ounce. Um, normally eight ounce like this, we're gonna put a couple of plants in. For the four ounce, we're gonna put fewer amount. Uh, And you can see that uh, the bottle is not standing up straight. Now that's because we don't want something to uh, get blown in directly. That is a safer, uh, safer method. And uh, one more reason is because my fan is blowing downwards. So putting the bottle up is not a good choice. And then we can uh, reheat the jar again and the lid and then reheat once more and then it's done now that's done for one jar and then it's ready to go in the the shelf where the grow where the lights are now you see there the equipment has fall down so we're gonna dump it in a 95% alcohol and then burn it again for at least 10 seconds. And then there it is. Now we're going to start with the next one. And that is all for today. Thank you. Bye bye.